hasn't picked at all split has been kind of a relative ban presence against the side of billy billy like they have seen it banned a couple of times against them but again nothing too exceptional he has kind of let it go off to the side and we'll see if it warrants that ban once again as we do get the final lock-in of that recon like you mentioned so good team fighting coming in here from top esports if they can scale up you've got a kaisa and a zir many more jios left throughout the season as well very loud today as you would expect for blg and top esports quite with Tien trading back that scuttle now level three full build uh as we like to say <laughs> on the broadcast there uh, it has the steadfast presence but it's behind oh bin on oh, this top this side nasty. it may just flash over yet yeah, looking for it we will see the knockback though is wayward oh. not quite able to get the stun down just yet but there is the slice and dice into the cold amik and that is first blood to top esports uh, blg momentum that we've seen so often in the season mm. this is a. Uh... Yeah, Bin's probably dead here, guys. I've I, seen this before. He does have Maybe flash. he gets six on this first minion. Yeah, maybe the second one. Not maybe quite on the third. <laughs> no, there's going to be the steadfast <laughs> presence. And they know where they want to try and focus here on the top side. Top Esports making sure their name does not go unheeded as they get wayward another kill. You know, you like to talk about it a lot. You say, you know, Renekton has to get ahead. The wishes are being answered this time around into it. And Bin is going to have to put in a lot of work, not only to catch up, but also to stay relevant in the team fights later on. And I love what we're seeing TM being so proactive on this poppy pick as well. As we do have the all out on this top side. Shouldn't really be way we're getting caught out here. Should be able to try and at worst flash away. But he's taking this trades very poorly. There's a flash into a flash into a call to Meek. And Bin took too much that he could chew. Shun tries to flash over here. But I don't think he's going to he make the kill it. off Wayward. He's going to need a couple more stacks. One more auto. Shun makes it a one for one. And finally, BLG get themselves on the board. I was thinking about something. Oh, there's a teleport Ooh, here. Sante. That makes things really awkward. Yeah, Jackie Love had to flash, which means he doesn't have it for here. The pop blossom into him. All of his face. There's nothing you can do. And now Tien has to flash away over the wall <laughs> without a jungler. It doesn't matter. They can take this dragon because you can't contest. We shall see. I'm going to go in for an engage in this mid lane. Kind of hard to get anything else off of this. Tien does not have flash, and that means he's going to be CC down the flash in to get the pop blossom under Mark. So there's absolutely no way they're going to turn this one around. There's the Moonlight Vigil under Mark. Oh, oh. No flash from Elf means that he gets caught out, really not respecting the Emperor's Divide. As all four members are left alive from both teams, find themselves in the mid lane. There is still a Rift Herald here, but I don't think top esports can really go for it. They're on the Herald, no. but uh, BLG are here to fight. Oh, flash in onto Shun. They're trying to CC him down, but he gets the Lamb's Respite off regardless. Now the Rift Hell's kind of left in a no man's land. The Pop Blossom could be huge, but they've already taken down the jungler. Tien has been traded back as well. It's a double kill going over to Elk. T Top Esports, they oh find themselves on the wrong side of the map. And they're trying to go for this with the all out to bring Mark away. The Kaisa secures the, dra or the, uh, the Rift Herald. But at what cost? We're going to see a W. Not going to land it. The flash forward into the tangled barbs. Not able to oh, get no. it. Oh, my lord. Just about see Bing going for it. And uh, wait. Wait. What? I, th I thought Top got it. Wait. Jackie Love's I, thing came did up. The, what? Jackie Love came up with the with the icon of Herald, right? Yeah, we're yeah, not, we're not, not crazy. It was red and it was Kaisa, right? I don't know how Bing no. picked it up. No, 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 no. Bing doesn't pick it up. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're uh, wait. No, we did pick it up. Sorry, I'm an idiot. He dropped it straight away. How'd that happen? But I, but I, I need a replay. I need a replay. Me My mind Replay blown. immediately. Immediately, game. Yeah. There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're just bad at our job. So, either way, great turn from Top Esports onto Shun immediately. Rookie's Emperor's Divide is seconds away from being up. So if they could have swept him out of this, uh, out of this Lambs Respite, it could have been huge. All right, Shun gets killed in the mix up. Tien's in the mix up. Wayward's in the mix up. Now who gets? I could have sworn. Either way, in this mix here, Yagao, great tangle barb, elk as well, but didn't. Ah, okay. ah it, okay. it was just on. We got baited. It's fine. We got baited. So, so BLG, hard. Did, get BLG did get it. BLG <laughs> did get it. BLG did get it. BLG did get it. Yeah, it's really, bad. really well played. We're gonna come back in though, because the action is not gonna stop. Our minds nope. have been blown. Another dragon. Shall... They need to come back and be reconstituted for this fight, because we're gonna see top esports look to contest this one once more. This dragon has been started. It would be soul point here for BLG. Top Esports know how important this is to kind of keep away from the BLG side. We're going to reset this one. Elk, though, has got perfect guns for this one here. They're going to let it reset. There's the Keeper's Verdict, though. It gets completely negated, and they're going to try to go in with the quickness. Oh. The Pop Blossom to disengage. It's all gone wrong. Jackie Love and Rookie just can't make themselves any kind of room to make presence here. Bin goes in onto Rookie. Who looks for the Rookie. Emperor's Divide? Rookie puts them right on a plate to Jackie Love, but Jackie Love shotguns himself in. Jackie Love looking for the fight, but he gets caught out by the Giga Bin and BLG will come out with the fight but it cost them three. Cloud Soul.
pop blossom all out the nautilus ultimate everything that can come in you know there's so many little things you got to be careful of kaisa's nowhere to be found here jackie Lo looking for a little bit of a move the hex flash to try and get an angle blg want to fight blg want to catch somebody out we'll say though top esports take advantage of this and call the bluff just a little bit just to gain them a bit of more of an advantage in that mid lane but top esports not to be outdone just yet we can see shun moving in to try and get a little bit more Why of that. Is it so loud? It's so I'm loud. sorry, it's so distracting. Oh, top esports. Yeah, everyone That's needs to get out of here. Just... Tien, very Ooh, lucky to get the hex flash out. And uh, <laughs> no flashes yearns. Uh, it's oh really making me it's, lose it. You know what the funny thing is? It's actually really tilting. Like, I'm not even playing <laughs> against it, and I'm really <laughs> tilted by it. But a ward will spot Ooh, out now. Okay. Top esports need to keep their mental going for themselves. They do see a ward of ba BLG on the Baron. We're going to see the Nico putting down a fair oh, bit of damage on the wayward. <gasps> Wait, on screwed up his hex flash. We didn't get over the wall. Now Tien in the back of the pit. We're going to see the quickness come in. Oh. But Mark, already so, so low, has used the flash, the moonlight vigil. It's fish in a barrel. They're going to have no way of getting themselves out of this one. Tien, though, now out of the pit. The pop blossom, the flash in, the catch out. Wayward kills for so much, but it's only to delay the inevitable. BLG definitely putting their foot on the throat of top esports and say, you belong below us. No breaks. Oh, on gets his way out of the heroic charge. Mark, eh, probably going to die there if he doesn't get himself back to safety. So yeah, he's already oh, backed yep, out. Never mind, he's nope, dead. Nope, he's, uh, dead. he's already gone down without your real engage now to come in. This just feels like it's BLG's game to really finish off. Wayward flashes in to try and take out Sean. And Sean has himself a lamb's respite to save his soul. Great hook here from on. This man has been ex exceptional for blg all year long the ace comes in blg home run all the way to the nexus and they will take the 1-0 advantage over top esports slaughter absolute massacre game number one blg maybe put under a little bit of pressure in the early game but after that after the first 10 minutes or so where top esports found very creative gank angles specifically through tn there was nothing that i felt like top esports could do and blg i think just a, a step ahead of top easels yeah. at every single angle very very interesting direction they decided to go and i'm very excited for this poppy top surprisingly i know it might sound a bit strange but it's actually one of the other count uh tank counters that i think really does well into Cassante. considering how blg went in the first one i still favor blg yeah because blg are invading and i think they've also found tn uh, oh TN. this is a disastrous start oh it is but it's gonna be a 4v5 right now you can see a flash for flash sean has to walk away from this one here he's getting chased down by jackie love who Jackie's flashes in and she'll be able to pick up that one up that is first blood going over to top esports and a good call there from top to make sure that blg just don't have their way straight away from level one this is awkward one more volley would be decent they're gonna try and get the damage down on the jackie love who also doesn't have himself a flash available three man knock up but it's on the three tanky members they try to fully come in on top of this one here no. rookie gets stunned up yagao is still very very low and will be taken out can they kill off jackie love the crash down is huge but can they confirm these kills yes they can get two for one trade and at the end of it all blg knew how strong they could be and this wave is massive jackie love's gonna lose so much off this yeah, Jackie Love is going to lose so much off this. He has got two kills, right? So it makes up for it a little bit, but still, Elk's going to pick up plates. Oh, TN. Oh, TN, TN, TN. TN, TN, TN. Crash down. Secure the kill. Nicely on to Shun. And that's going to be even more gold over to BLG. And yes, you get the dragon here for top esports, but a three for one trade is not ideal. Top esports are looking. So the fact that they picked up that first dragon just kind of gives them a little bit more time. But of course, if BLG overstep like this, On could potentially be picked off quite easily. Nice cleanse by Jackie Love to come on right back on top of On, who is still low. Flash has to be committed. It's a one for none trade, but a dragon did go over in favor of BLG. So not the worst of setups. And again, you have to use so many summoners to make it happen. Still good for top esports to get Jackie Love rolling on this pick. Yep, Jackie Love, three and one now. Static Shiv, blasting one. He's been kind of the, the benefactor of a lot of the plays that have ended up happening in front of him. So via the gameplay. Wait to see what they want to try and do here. Looks like Rookie's going to be the uh, target. Pop Blossom not going to bring you out of range. And that means you have wasted your flash. As many, many people descend upon you. They're going to even drop down this Rift Held into mid lane. There's only Mark here. Eventually, the rest of Top Esports will make their way. But you would like to get this uh, little bit of a movement here onto the 
the uh, Yigao, but for unfortunately for him, wasn't able to get it in position. Yep, exactly what you called. They're going to try and look, try and separate this fight. Rookie has to back himself away. Jackie Love will get out of the pot blossom, but it's still a three-man knockup. Yigao has just said, where was Shun? Shun wasn't even close to this. I'm not quite sure what happened. Right through the sticks is the Enchanted Crystal Arrow, but look how big Bin is. They can still take this 4v5 now at the 4v4. Wayward and Jackie Love doing damage. The Magnet Storm brings around everybody. Rookie has gone down. It's a trade, though. Cleansed by L because he flashes away as well. Mark goes down to 2v3, but oh, Jackie Love's just free hitting. Does he have the damage? Bin. Flash in. Knock up. Cassante has made his presence known. Wayward still very, very healthy, but BLG not willing to kind of let him have his way. They're going to move everyone towards this mid lane and take this turret. Screw the side lanes. It's now an ARAM. We're in an A. That's what's going on right now. <laughs> and an ARAM. <laughs> and an ARAM. Wayward. That's a lot more damage than he wants. Here we go, Yagao gonna use a pop blossom defensively, but turns back right at the end. The Magnet Storm, they're all being shredded. Tien will not be able to get himself up the well, just about keeps himself alive. But this is just disaster for top esports, but for BLG, definitively better in every sense of this series. They are smashing top esports. Get some pressure on the turret, but it won't even crash that really successfully. Now Bin going all out on the Tien. Kind of feeling that he can go for this one here. Nice little juke back, but Tien because has to can. splash <laughs> because he can, and that's just exactly it. Mark now found himself a little bit isolated underneath the turret. Will get to walk away from this one here. Shun going in. They will get the ultimate now out of the Alistair. But I mean, this is just BLG being on another level. The LPL hasn't seen the like for so long. Feels like the last time we had this kind of domination between two teams, it was JDG and Top Esports. As we see now, you go. Forced to flash away on now. Cop is going to rock at a hard place. He is going to have to try and isolate himself. But Jackie Love hasn't finished off the kill just yet. TP coming damage. in here from Bin. As Bin wants to get a little bit more. They stop his dash with a steadfast presence. But it forces Jackie Love flash out. Look at these low health bars. BLG are unafraid. Oh my god. This is Ranger's rough. focus. Yep. Just doing so much right between the sticks. That's three points there. If you follow rugby, as L gets himself a kill off the back end of it, the flash forward. Wayward trying to just walk away from this one here. Mark, but no ultimate will be turned into hamburgers. It's a double kill. This fight hasn't stopped. And the reason why it hasn't stopped is because BLG know they are just better. They are just stronger. And they are going to make sure top esports know who they are fighting against, who they are looking up to, because you are below us in the standings, and that's where you'll stay. Absolutely, BLG looking to close this series out 2-0. They don't want Top Esports to make this a three-game series. They'll take the inhibitor, look for a reset, go and get the Dragon, and they will keep them at arm's length. This was a six-point game for both of these teams. If Top Esports could get that 10th win, make BLG fall down to 11 and 2, then maybe there's a chance they can catch up. But now, Top Esports at the cusp of, remember, after today's series, they play OMG. They could get leapfrogged by OMG. It's not impossible. As Engage comes in here, and Jackie Love, did, I don't think the Q actually went on to Yagao. Oh, that's why he dealt no damage. I think the Q all went on to the clone. A little bit unlucky there from his part. But yeah, good disengage initially, but BLG just kind of keep the party going by. It's also Top Esports teasing it, right? Elk yeah. playing at arm's length and Bin kind of keeps Rookie locked in place. Then the slows continue again from this Ash. Very, very, very powerful CC tool just a rundown. And even if BLG don't necessarily have the best hard engage in the world, it doesn't matter if Top Esports keep on kind of running into you and playing at range. But that's it. Like, it's, it feels like with Top Esports, it, it, you lost your ultimates. You lost. Oh, Jackie Love. Oh, Jackie Love. You're uh. probably dead here. Yes. Ooh. Maybe not, actually, as the rest of his team is here. But you've now had to commit four members and two ultimates ah. just to keep Jackie Love alive. Here's a TP coming in. That's going to be Yagao already finding himself now a little bit of an opportunity. Jackie Love has nowhere to go, and he gets crashed down upon him. On says hello. Double pop blossom to try and get some kind of a fight. It's a little bit separated, though. On trying to make sure that Mark can get killed off by Elk before anything else can happen. Here comes the Giga Bin, though. And the rest of Top Esports know this is over. This series is done. BLG are better. There's nothing to be done. They got to look towards playoffs with a, a little bit more of a, a game plan because today, BLG just had them routed. Yep. Routed. Demolished. Wrecked. To quote the old saying. <laughs> And top like esports classic just, esports saying. It is. Top esports just haven't. All series long, they've just not had an answer, have they? I like the flavor of the, where they tried to go with this draft. 
but it feels like it's it's just the gameplay department which is lacking more than anything. BLG just more decisive, more on the button. And it's been that story for the last 50 or so minutes of gameplay. As we concede in game two into game one. So what do BLG do? I think they just sit here, let Top Esports kind of hit their forehead into a wall. And then once the opportunity do? presents itself to end the game, they do. <laughs> I don't, I, I, look, I, I've I been don't. saying with Mazel, <laughs> right? Sorry to keep on cutting you, that you know, he's the he's the glass half full guy. I'm the glass half empty. I don't think Top Esports. Yeah. There's no, there's no like. I wouldn't even begin to have the conversation here. It just doesn't really feel feasible unless BLG that. start having a lot of fun. But even then, like BLG are, I, I, we talk about it so often that like they're a team that just love to fight. They are like what they embody the LPL spirit in my opinion because it does feel like. 22 kills in 26 or maybe 27 minutes is unheard of in most regions. For the longest time, we were just weren't getting kills. It was kind of a one team fight, and then we'll see what happens after that. At 20 minutes, you might just lose the game. Speaking of losing the game, again, great little between the sticks here from the Ash Arrows. And that's the funny thing. The amount of things that are missing from BLG, and it just does not matter. We are going to see the, set, the Keeper's Verdict knock back Elk. He's not really there, so the constant DPS isn't there, but uh, the all-out comes in to try and isolate Wayward, and yeah, Wayward has a flash, but does he get out alive? That is the question. They're going to have to try and commit Mark here to try and make sure he doesn't go down. They will lose him anyway. The Pop oh. Blossom tries to get on top of the rest of the team, but I mean, this game is done and dusted. Even without Elk, 4v5 for the majority of that fight, BLG smash top esports. They are just so dominant and BLG continuing themselves to put themselves up to 12 and 1. They're still very affirmed to be a top two team. It would take a miracle for them and JDG not to be our top two, but what a way to do it. This was match of the week, but BLG were the strong ones. They topple top esports like it's nothing. And they will secure themselves, not mathematically, but realistically in that top two position. Everything top Esports were the mathematically. <laughs> ma everything but mathematically. Top Esports were the front runners to maybe close this gap out to potentially make a top two race quite competitive. Now at this point, it seems like it will just be JDG and BLG battling it out for that first place position. Great start from BLG. And again, just continuing to show us why they are one of our best teams here. And again, continue to not really give in to, you know, things like the schedule and MSI hangover, none of that has been a factor. It has been no. go, go, go. And they continue to be the best alongside JDG.